citizens of the re Jacked Nation. Ron Joxie is back and we're ready to test, test our, our might, might with Paul W.S. Anderson's original Mortal Kombat. Did not leave you hanging, Roxy. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. my headphones. Let's do this thing. I know that you were in the arcades as a kid throwing down mad coins on this. Yeah, listen, I feel like I'm a big Mortal Kombat fan, but also I don't know if that's true. That's good. That's perfect because today we're going to find out, but only if you leave a like on this video as well as subscribe, hit the notification bell, check out the world girls. And also, hey guys, I just want to say a big old thank you to the team over at Prepper for chopping down these highlights because it's hard work and we appreciate them for doing it. Also, if you want the entire, the complete Mortal Kombat experience alongside us, see everything that doesn't make these reaction highlights, come on over to patreon.com slash the real reject sync up with your own copy and join us for several other movies and shows as well it's a real blast roxy yeah. are you ready i'm born, born ready to yes. fight that's <laughs> if that's not a line in the movie i'm not watching it's okay i got you get over, get over here, here. Mortal yeah Oh my god! We're just getting right to it! It's like, wow. Alright, okay. Oh man, why wasn't I in a theater for this? I don't know. <laughs> why weren't you? Oh. Yes. Nobody's mad at that. Never. That's like the most iconic theme song of all time. <laughs> No. Oh. Let him go, man. This guy's very different from Ip Man. That kid's a kid, right? A young person. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, so you broke his back. Okay. Not you, cool, you man. You can't be the good guy in the story, right? No, he's the hero. <laughs> this is the save the cat moment. Your brother's soul is mine. <laughs> oh, Liu Kang? Oh. Whoa, damn. My man. I'm green with envy. Western Union. Brother dead. Return home. Grandfather. Jax, is the perimeter secured? Lockdown tight. Jax. It better be. I want Kano. Trust me, Sonya. I trust one person on this planet, Jax. You're Myself. Yeah. I'm going to name you every chance I get, Jax. I'm Sonya Blade. <laughs> you because Sonya Blade. I'm so Sonya Blade. Oh, fatality. She's here. Right on time. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love punctuality in a woman. I do, too. Mr. Shang Tsung. Not just in a woman, in a person, though, but yeah. Only in women. <laughs> Dudes can be as late as they want. She'll follow you into hell. Just make sure she's on that thing. Sonya Blade must be at the tournament. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Maybe me and Sonya should share a cabin. Have our own little honeymoon cruise. If you so much as touch your kid. <laughs> he has values. You're going to need a seeing eye dog. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, get that eye acting in there. Twitch those lids. <laughs> Don't Who? shoot like a cool guy. Who like... is that playing Sonya Blade? I'm not sure. Where's Kano? Where is he? Ask an Australian. She looks like Cadet Kelly. Oh, yeah. Miami Vice. Johnny Cage. That's I, what I said. I assume. <laughs> I don't know. I see palm trees. I think L.A. or Miami. L.A. <laughs> He's meeting so the men much, in black. You're a lot better at this than me. I mean, I'd say it's not a competition, but it's more combat. <laughs> Let's dance. Let's dance. <laughs> oh, I wanted this to be sweet dreams are made of these. That's I know. what it sounded like we were getting into. <laughs> what do you think the odds are that we're inside a movie scene right now? Or is Ooh. this a real fight? I hadn't thought about it till you said it, but why did he pull up and say let's dance in real life? Yeah. This is where you fall down. <laughs> 
You knew. Hey, mister, you're in my chair. <laughs> oh, no. Hi, Johnny. You're one of the best martial artists in the world, and I can help you prove it. The All-Valley Tournament. <laughs> the tournament is held once a generation. The best fighters in the world are invited. Cobra Kai. There's a boat. It leaves Pier 40, Hong Kong, tomorrow. Oh, the dragon. Oh, no. No. You didn't see that one coming. Nah. I'm fighting dirty. That's beautiful. It feels like they're using different kinds of cameras. I know. It's <laughs> like they had different film stock yeah. for every different shoot day or something. But I mean, I don't know. It does give it a, a cinematic quality. No, it's working. It's just interesting. Yeah. It's like every place is a different movie. This is where we found his body. He followed in your footsteps, preparing for the tournament. Grandfather, it wasn't enough you filled my head with that nonsense. How can you, a wise man, believe this? We all <laughs> believe in it. And we all got money on it. He has, like, maybe the best head of hair I've ever seen in my entire life. I know, man. I wish I could get those feathers going. Also, a lot of smoke shows in this. I want to represent the Order of Light at the tournament. For what reason? The man who killed my brother will be there. And I guess that's a good reason. We're fighting for the fate of the world. That's why you left the temple and ran away, isn't it? Uh-oh. Who we got? The great tournament was too much responsibility, but vengeance. Yes. That's so much simpler. Lord Raiden. Okay. This isn't your god of thunder and lightning. He's just a beggar. He's just a white guy. No, a white savior. Um, of course, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Righteous. Oh. Mm. The Palpatine eyes. If you are raided, why did you let Chan die? Why didn't you protect him? Why didn't you? Ooh, I know you are, but what am I? I'm rubber, you are glue. What would be your weapon of choice? Ooh, I want to learn how to use one of the, like a, like a blade on a chain. Sick. I'm, I'm pretty good with a bow staff in real life, but I feel like that would be super cool. Or nunchucks, because they never get respect on screen, except for in like John Wick 4 and Bruce Lee movies. <laughs> You want me to carry your luggage? I pay money, you carry the bags. I got it. Oh. Yeah, buddy. Oh. Well, both of them didn't look good in that <laughs> exchange. It's okay. Oh my god. What is that? <laughs> I feel like we're at Disneyland right now. <laughs> Left some ships coming by, or whatever the show they do. That's it. Hold on. I see my Come to Papa. He looks like a Hemsworth. That's right. <laughs> Kaino Hemsworth. The lost Hemsworth. That's good. Thanks. It's a dead on Kano Hemsworth impression. Hey, Sonia. I wonder if they choose chose to do so much ADR because of the tradition of like Martial arts cinema, or Maybe. If it's just a thing that happened. Or they had a bad, bad audio day. <laughs> Every <days>. day. <laughs> <laughs> it's an honor to finally meet you, Sonia. Shang Tsung, at your service. Oh. I'm looking for a murderer. But it is my boat, and if you'd like a tour, I'd love to give it to you myself. It'll be $28. <laughs> She's just doing her job. When I want backup, a radio for it. She really enunciates every word. Yeah. When I want backup, I'll radio for it. Oh, let's Got go radio some through. And Scorpion, damn. Move aside. Oh, look at that. And that's how he got his name. <laughs> okay. Oh. Looks more like Toucan Sam. <laughs> oh. Follow your nose. That was a weird series of shots. Oh. We'll let them no. have it. Enough. Damn. That is expressly forbidden before the tournament. It won't happen again, I promise you. Until we reach the island where you have no dominion. My dominions are well known to me, sorcerer. Stop talking <laughs> about my dominions. You've been chosen, Sonia. Much to my delight. 
you were the chosen one. What you're about to face is vastly more important than your ego. Oh. Your enemy. Or your quest for revenge. The focus. He was talking to each of them individually. Defend the realm of Earth in a tournament called Mortal Combat. The forsaken land called Outworld. Ruled by an immortal. Now he seeks a new world to conquer and enslave. Yes. To enter the realm of Earth. The Empress Demon Sorcerer Shang Tsung and his warriors have to win ten straight victories in Mortal Kombat. They have won nine. Oh no. This will be the tenth Take tournament. Take that, Sonya. A handful of people on a leaky boat are gonna save the world. <laughs> I like those odds. What about the others? They are all great fighters, but I have looked into their souls. Uh oh. And yours. One of you three will decide the outcome of the tournament. Spoilers. What the do their fate souls of say? Billions will depend upon you. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because comedy. I guess so. If you challenge Chang Song now, you will lose your life and your soul. He is going to pay for my brother's death. Oh. Look, it has begun. Look. The eagles fly on the wind to Mordor. Wowie! Death Eaters, Harry! Okay. They've done a good job identifying every character, though, for people who don't know Mortal Kombat at all. You get a good sense so far. It's like, if you used to play, it's a refresher. If you've never played before, you know definitely who's a game character. <laughs> yeah. Wow, man. This face planted right in the water. <laughs> Look at those sculptures. Ha, ha, ha. No more steps. The thing about Johnny is they cast him to be just like, an LA actor guy, but <laughs> like I'm like, I really believe this guy is a, like a warrior. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Like I'm sure he'll get his chance to shine, but I always like think you it's couldn't funny. walk to the top of the steps. I'm like, I feel like you really prioritize the actor part more than like the actual martial artist part. Well, I've never seen him work since this. So. <laughs> nah, man. you just <laughs> don't like realize he he's got that much range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No shade. No shade. None. Princess Kitana. Ah, of course. She's our most dangerous adversary. Watch her carefully, Reptile. Keep her away from these humans. Oh! Oh, no, dude. Oh! Oh! I felt that. These agents were not happy that their actors were not able to have their faces shown. I know. <laughs> The sounds are so great, too. Oh no, oh no. Oh yeah. Poor guy. Okay. Flawless victory. Yes. Words I have seldom heard in this life. <laughs> Shang Tsung knows where Kano's hiding. She's one track minded. Right, man. When she sets her mind on something, it's not her mind you're admiring. <laughs> Good point. So Johnny's here for his career? Yeah, if he wins the tournament, people will take him seriously yeah. as a martial artist. It's like his is the... <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh. Is that Goro? I want to get to the bottom of this. Are you out of your mind? Ooh. That's... Cool. The Minds of Moria. TDK trilogy starts now. That's Kano. Oh, yeah, about Kano. Where was the other guy? Yeah, so then he freezes this guy, right? Oh, I can really have a turkey leg right now. Disgusting. What I want to know, if this Shane Sun guy is so great, <laughs> how come he's got such a crummy looking boat? <laughs> he enslaves souls. He learned the black arts from the Emperor himself. Oh my, where's the Emperor? You're some kind of royalty too, right? I am oh Goro, general of the armies of Outworld and prince of the subterranean realm of Shokan. Something like underground? Yeah, exactly. I've come to warn you that Gong Lao's descendant is competing oh. in the tournament. I saw this Liu Kang in the hall. He'll pose no problem. He looked like an idiot. Princess Kitana is 10,000 years old and the rightful heir to the throne of Outworld. But she must not be allowed to join with the forces from the realm of Earth, especially Liu Kang. They're very good hiders. Yeah. And these guys are great at giving out exposition. 
Mm. It's very dank down here. Is it drippy moist? It is drippy moist. There's like a leaky tap in the background. Oh. Gex. Invisible Gex. Whoa. Pepper spray. Yeah, you got Jurassic Parked. <laughs> yes. We got company. Buddy. It's been a long time since we've had a fight. Come on, let's go. God, this song, This is like burned into my subconscious. Oh. More DJs should play this at clubs, and then maybe I'd go. I know, right? You just need to be clubbing with, like, eighth graders. It's, yeah. like, the best song. Did they put a bowling pin sound in there? <laughs> Nicely done. Team. It's a good pose, too. Absolutely brilliant. Different accent. So why don't you show me what you plan to do about no, them? It, it's an ever-evolving <laughs> accent. All right. The accent itself has a character arc. Uh-uh. No. I don't think so. Chuckle. <laughs> I'm just gonna punctuate everything I say now with <laughs> Tomorrow the tournament begins. Be prepared. There are some cool sets and like Be set designs. <laughs> yeah, I agree. It's like it makes it so much more jarring when the other ones are kinda of, it's kinda of all working for me though. It's like <laughs> This is a very exciting moment for me. I bet. Look at these two. I'm super in. <laughs> Psyching each other out. It's not mental combat, though. <laughs> mental combat! <laughs> oh. Pocket sand. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Look out. Oh, ow. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> oh. Not bad. Do you remember a lot of these locations in the game? I probably don't have, like, that good of a, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, oh, I'm going to recognize every level. Like, yeah, I'm sure this oh. is similar to a level, and I've probably seen it, but. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, the kip up. So cool. If you can do that, you can really do anything. Your soul is mine. Yep. <laughs> No! It's not a nice thing to do to somebody. I mean that very true. Shang Tsung is not a nice Fatality. man. Fatality. 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 Yeah. Oh no, who do we got? It seems like there's like so many parodies. I know. <laughs> oh. Look at his oh. V. His perfect chest hair. You put a big smile on your partner though. Oh no. To, yeah. What? Is Jax not coming back? Yeah, yeah study this! Whoa. What song is this? This isn't the Mortal Kombat song. This is an interesting pairing. <laughs> he had a knife. And... Okay. You know, I mean, half of them have magic. <laughs> I don't think there are any sort of weapon rules at all. No, no, just she, she only has her decent part. I think they don't care. <laughs> oh. Oh, dang. <laughs> yes. Choke him out. Oh, give me a break. Okay. Whoa. Oh, damn. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> where was he just go? Where? Is this, is this just happening or is this sanctioned combat? Oh. <laughs> Get over here! Yes! Parts of that visual effect look all right, but... Oh, damn! Oh, shaving away at that tree bark. Just what is this part of the Mortal Kombat? 
mean, I think they're just throwing in fights because uh, yeah, yeah. it's Mortal Kombat, but cool. it does, like, I can't tell if this is part of it. This is a really cool setting, though. I feel like they're walking around and they found this location. They're like, we gotta shoot something yeah, here. Shoot something here. This tree bleeds. Yeah. Whoa! I was gonna say, this seems like an attempt. Oh, damn. Maybe it's like Shang Tsung trying to take them out so that they don't get to fight. Oh. Ah. Uh, wasn't bad. Ready landed one. Yeah. All right. Good. Yeah. Okay, but your career does need you to keep your face. No nah, money man, maker. If he comes back with a cool scar, though. So the winner of this fight, then what? I'm not sure. I still feel like this is just an attempt to like take Johnny off the board without him actually being in Mortal Kombat, but... Really make sure we can see those milky eyes. Oh! <laughs> Sweet. This is, so, this is so evil dead right now. That's on my list of things I haven't seen. What? Um, whoa. Oh, wow. Goo. I mean, I'm conflicted because I guess they just killed Scorpion, but also that was kind of cool. <laughs> it was kind of badass. Yeah, yeah. I'm curious how that plays into the rest of the movie. It's a cool fight. <laughs> oh. Damn, look at that. If you won't fight with all of your heart, there is no hope. Why do you care if I win or lose? Nice shadow there. To win your next match, use the element which brings life. Water? Kitana, that's enough. You disappoint me. Not very wise. Oh. So you just said for the next fight, like that was that. It's what very are the unclear rules? as to like yeah. what the formal <laughs> structure like, so rules tied? of this tournament are. <laughs> He's not take her soul. It's what three official fights and then one side quest. Was that one <laughs> some, an official some, fight? I guess. I mean, Shang Tsung was there, so I just I'm yeah. just gonna assume that <laughs> it was official somehow. <laughs> Right to business. So, is this one sanctioned? I guess. Sweet. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, water. The element! It's, 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 she said it! Oh no. Water. <laughs> oh, in case we didn't get it at that point. Nah, man, this guy's a master. Whoa. What on earth? No. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. You got this. Yeah, that's it. Come on, In and out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, he's not even really, like, trying. Or maybe he is. You know, they're working with the limitations of this massive puppet. <laughs> only so out you can get. Yeah, get out. Finish him. That's right. That's what I like to hear. Oh, it's quite a climactic finishing move. <laughs> bonk. The royal bonk. Oh, no. Raising him up as an offering. Your soul oh. is mine. Oh. Why didn't he take... The princess's soul. I don't know. I mean, she's still on the table. Right, but that was a fight. Whoa! Damn! No! This just sucked him Johnny, into his eyeball. Johnny, I didn't know you cared that much. Goro can be killed. Shang Tsung's power can be destroyed by mortal men and women. Mortal men and women! Your spear is the most dangerous fear of all. I know this. And so does Shang Tsung. He can peer into your soul. Pee? He can pee into your soul. <laughs> Come on, it sounded like that. <laughs> I just want to know what that would feel can like. Can somebody pee into my soul? 
Please, internet, do not do your thing and have that go viral. It's sterile. I guess it's better than someone shitting in your soul. I feel like I've had people shit on my soul. You go up against him, he'll kill you. If I don't, then he'll finish us off one at a time. You're making this all sound really simple, and it isn't. Yeah, it is, because I can't let what happened to Art happen to you. Oh. Oh, he likes her? Yep. They're the two attractive white protagonists. (laughs) Blonde. (laughs) It was predestined. Challenging Goro, eh? I'm not the one who's gonna die. In return, I reserve the right to challenge the winner myself. In a place designated by me. Those are bad terms and conditions. Yeah. This puny mortal will be no problem. <laughs> I'll crush him in one blow. Let's dance. Mm-hmm. Let's, Let's dance. Let's dance. He brought it back. Whoa. <laughs> what? Did he just punched him in the nuts. <laughs> he just punched him in the nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. This movie has to know it's it's funny. It's a comedy, right? It has to know. Uh, yes. Get it in the super wide. No! This is where you fall down. <laughs> Do you know what happens to a toad when it gets struck by lightning? Princess, or no, wait, that's Sonya Blade. All right, either way, no, Sonya Blade. No, it's the love of his life, Sonya. Of course, their romance. I challenge <laughs> you're a coward, sorcerer. Stand and fight. We had a deal, remember? I'm simply changing the place. Okay, but is there an audience this time, or no audience? Or... Sonya, wow. No! Nah, you can't watch. It's one of those no-watch places. She has to accept the challenge, or there can be no final combat. I have nothing further to teach you, Liu Kang. You have learned all the rules. All that is lacking now is the will. You sure you don't want to go with us? In our world, if you look hard enough, you will find another guy. <laughs> Still got a fight, lizard. Her Baraka. Go save Baraka. the woman. His name Baraka in this. Is that Together a different they're... character? Luke Cage. They are Luke Cage. <laughs> oh my God. What a duo. Power Man. Who needs Luke Cage when you have Luke Cage? Heroes for Hire, right here. <laughs> we should head for that tower. Shang Tsung would have taken Sonya there. Wow. So she doesn't have to accept the fight, but she doesn't know she doesn't have to accept the fight. So they got to get there to tell her that. <laughs> I guess so. For a very climactic end. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Boom. What size is he supposed to be? Uh, I guess these things are alive. Did it just feed it? Now it comes back to life, or? Oh shit! Oh. Resurrected. Uh, That's not what he meant to no. do, right? Is it one of them, or is it like a third one? I don't know. Oh. Damn! Damn! Crack. Um, where is Johnny? He's just outside waiting around. <laughs> yes. Boom. Get him. It's like this seems like a, a, a little bit unnecessary considering he's already dead. And then you strangled the. <laughs> Gotta get more pair ups going. Two steps forward, five steps back. Whoa! Okay, it was worth it for that. We're not seeing his feet move, but we did hear it, and it sounded bomb. <laughs> Flip. Whoa! Oh, my bugs! Nutritious, slimy oh, yet no, satisfying. Wash that mean old lizard. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> a wonderful phrase. My father was the rightful ruler of that world, and the emperor entered the realm, killed my parents, and adopted me to lay claim to the throne. It's our responsibility. In the Black Tower, you will face three challenges. You must face your enemy, you must face yourself, and you must face your worst fear. And then you will answer these riddles three. What? On Earth. 
They took the time to tease her hair. Slave Leia. That's what's happening. Uh. If you don't fight, the realm of Earth will forfeit the tournament. And its portals will open to shh, our shh, great shh. emperor. My friends will come. They're already here. Oh, we already came. That was unbelievable. Yeah. That was the best moment of the whole movie. Yeah. I am Liu Kang, descendant of Kung Lao. I challenge you to Mortal Kombat. Do you accept or yield? Is Kung Lao going to show up? I accept. Nice dress. <laughs> Bizarre. Such weird chemistry between all these people. <laughs> yes, let's do this one more time. That uh, is a pretty cool shot from above. <laughs> Come on. Yes, Gaines. <gasps> you make me bleed my own blood? Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. What's that sound? The source of all Shang Tsung's power. The souls of a thousand dead warriors. A didgeridoo. Hey, uh, that was a pretty cool effect. Oh. Is your enemy five henchmen? It feels like unfair. <laughs> what are the rules? Like, are there any rules? Well, these are the souls. I know the rules are probably not the, the first order of business, but like, are there any parameters <laughs> to any no, of no. these battles? No, no. <laughs> It's more clear of the game. Can you wipe your chin, bro? Damn. But half these guys are like recognizable stunt actors. Oh. Damn. My dude. I can see into your soul. Okay. You will pee into your die. <laughs> I can see your Schwartz is as big as mine. Face yourself. You can look into my soul, but you don't own it. You haven't peed on it yet. <laughs> <laughs> that is how you take ownership, <laughs> like a dog. Face me. No. I knew it. No. Did you fall for it? You just saw him do it. Chan, it can't be you. <laughs> right. Raiden sent me to help you. You're not really what? Chan. Remember when our parents died and you promised that you would always take care of me? Uh-huh. Now it's my turn to take care of you, brother. By killing you in Mortal Kombat. Come with me. If you want to die. Forgive you for letting me die. Why is he entertaining this? I have no idea. It wasn't my fault. Chan chose his own path. Every man is responsible for his own destiny. Shang Tsung killed my brother. Oh, my. <laughs> Careful, you got all the spikes down there now. They look like little Christmas trees. Yeah. There are a bunch of little scorpions under there just pushing their palm knives up through the floor. The two of them seem to be the two best fighters, so I like watching them fight. The chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> they are easily my two favorite characters, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pull him in. Kiss him. Slave sorcerer. Whoa. Whoa. They have risen up against you. Free them! They are mine. Nah. Uh, let him go, Freddy Krueger. Where do they go when they escape him? You know, just into the ozone. Is that what global boiling is? Yeah, it's just all the soul <laughs> energy let out of Shang Tsung's body. It's now I that understand. we can do about it. I pity you, sorcerer. Save your pity for the weak. He does not know how to spit. <laughs> oh. Don't pity him. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. 
spiky You're so spike, close, spike. boy. You're so close. Take a hike to the spike. Yeah. Ooh. There you go. Got a little lightning out there. Damn. Whoa. Is that everybody's souls getting released? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> now it's the haunted mansion. Out to poster guys. What is it? Grim grinning ghosts go <laughs> out to socialize. socialize. <laughs> I said poster guys. It's all good. Oh. Ghost stuff. I knew you'd come. Chad. Oh, buddies. One day. Sweet. We will be reunited. But until then. My spirit will always be with you. Aww. Very sweet moment. Yeah. So long, Thackeray Binks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Aww. It's like a Shakespearean romance. Humans are so unpredictable. This is the end of being girls. I've got to tell you something. You guys did great. This is so weird. <laughs> ah! What is it? The Emperor. Oh, no. Oh. Whoa. We pathetic fools. I've come for your souls. I don't think so. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, Paul Anderson. I got to see that girl's name. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That was a lot. That was a lot. How do you feel? Just immediate first thoughts before um, the cast list comes listen, up. Listen, once I decided it was a comedy, I had a, a blast. <laughs> sure. But, like, I, if I had seen this in theaters when it came out, and, uh -huh. and hadn't talked to anybody. I think I would have been like uh, rather confused. Yes, I think also so. Also in five, so. Well, also that. Uh, what are your <laughs> immediate thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I can absolutely see why and how this has garnered a cult following. Yeah, totally. And, you know, it's cult love. So that certainly. that is how it is. Like Christopher Lambert. That was Raiden's name. I, I always I always hear about. His performance in this movie, you know, like Christopher Lambert in Mortal Kombat is always like one of those meme performances that gets brought up. Oh, interesting. <laughs> God, it was him. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, like, this is, it, it, I don't have, like, the greatest lexicon. Like, I haven't played every single Mortal Kombat game. And that was, you know, like, those kinds of games, especially when I was young and growing up, were the kinds of things I would have to get at, like, a friend's house or in an arcade. Oh, cool. The the uh, ADI guys did uh, Goro. As well, they are uh, uh, effects folks. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I already saw Sonya Blade, Bridget, Bridget Wilson, Wilson, which I I, no? I must have seen her in something because that name doesn't even ring a bell. But definitely, I feel like I've seen her. I've seen a few of these people. I want to look up what else they've done. Yeah. Since then. But yeah, like I don't have the best, you know, overall lexicon to sit here and be like, well, in the game lore and stuff like that. But um. But yeah, like this was very fun, but disjointed and yeah, disjointed is a good word for it because definitely yeah, and given the meme status that this movie possesses in popular culture, it is kind of a funny one to go back and look at it. And two, uh, you know, at the time of filming this, um, I think this will go up before it, but we did a we did a different reaction to the Street Fighter movie. Uh, and that one has like sort of a more madcap tone throughout, whereas this like really kind of dips in and out of like, okay, here's just kind of like a still quiet scene of people talking about stuff and then like randomly a fight will break out. And then that fight will just randomly transition with no transition into a different fight. Like Paul W.S. Anderson has made so many movies and granted this is early on in his career, but like this does feel like, like it, it was assembled by like, a really enterprising film student or something like that. Yeah, it definitely lacked like a through line that was cohesive and everything was um, <laughs> contributing to it, you know, which is totally fine because it was fun. But uh, yeah, some of the t rules like that you and I kept harboring, them, it's like, wait, what? I left this with very little concept of the actual like world and rules of Mortal Kombat 
out world, this whole mystic, you know, it's like a whole mystical ritual that they've got going on. And, yeah, and totally. yeah, if they win 10 times, they can come destroy the earth. And yet the, the fighting, which is so much of the movie, so much of the time did just feel like a, just a bunch of fight scenes. This really did feel like they had a bunch of fight scenes and they're like, I don't know, we got to put these in an order. Now uh, let's get a bunch of scene scenes and let's just kind of put them here and there throughout but not between every fight. <laughs> and to have you know, that. It's got such a weird structure. You're going to be so annoyed with me at home, and I get it, but, like, as lover of love, shipper of ships, then to, like, not have, <laughs> all of a sudden, you guys are in love. See, that's the thing is as often as I am like, give me a cool love story, I, you know, like you got to earn it. You can't just like say it. And then also there was no makey outie. And at the <laughs> end, there's two couples. And I'm like, wait, what? Well, that's the thing is, is this this is a movie I certainly would not come into expecting any kind of romance. And I'm fine with that, like especially in a Mortal Kombat scenario. I'm like, I don't need it here. If they want to do it, I'm always welcoming. But in this case, it is ex it, it, it feels so much like a like a like a pitch meeting episode where it's just like, they're in love now. Why? Because they're both attractive and they're two of the main characters. <laughs> like it's. <laughs> but what about the other two as well? Lou and oh, the princess. Uh, uh, Kitana and Liu Kang. Like, yeah. yeah like, At the end, they're walking together. They seem chummy. You guys have more of like a, you know, destiny <laughs> slash, you know, uh, heritage kind of thing going on. So you guys are together. And uh, you guys are... Are white. You guys and are blonde. browner and you guys are whiter, and, and that's so how we couples. gotta put you both together. That's what it feels like. It feels like somebody decided in editing that that was supposed to happen, and then they just kind of maneuvered the footage to yeah. represent that. And like, I, if anybody's gonna like couples, it's gonna be me. But I was just like, what? <laughs> yeah. But like, I don't know. I'd rather it have earlier on, just like. I'd rather uh, Johnny have grabbed her and kissed her and her be like, it what? No. Or some, just some kind of like, yeah. anything. I don't know. I don't anything even know. Anything to, to establish or to build that up. Yeah, no, totally. Because whatever. It, it does feel just like a regular old Hollywood thing to do. And two, because like Shang Tsung and Kano, like everybody's also being like creepy and oogling Sonya as well. So then you're like, well, what right, sets not Johnny apart princess, from them? <laughs> yeah. who's super hot, too. And then, like, at the end with the, like, I, I knew it was all going to happen. Just, like, I, I'm telling you that was the Mean Girls song. Yeah, and Raiden, like, is such a, again, like, I'm not the, the cake keeper of, of, you know, authenticity to the Mortal Kombat lore. But I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what the choice was for this. Because he's got, I, I, I love movies like this, too that have so much ADR because inevitably you'll have like these kind of types of performances arise. Uh, and one of the bingo card for me is uh, when you have like a voiceover that like doesn't seem at all like the actor is watching the performance while they're giving the voiceover. Yeah. <laughs> and like all of Raiden's lines felt kind of like that to me. It, it felt there like... There was like an extra microphone on him that was weird. It was like... Because well, he's always talking kind yeah. of down here. And then like no matter what, energy level the scene calls for he's always talking like this with his <laughs> strange accent <laughs> and it's just yeah it, it has again it has that sort of little kiddish storytelling quality where it's just like and then we go here and then this happens and then we go here he looked um, like carrie always a little bit <laughs> yeah little bit. do you think let me ask you a question that you're not gonna like but i'm gonna ask it anyway go ahead. do you think it's possible that this was a bad movie <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's possible. See, th funny enough, this one I enjoyed. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it too. I'm, I, I'm not saying did you or did you not enjoy it. Is it possible this is just not a good movie? I enjoyed this. I think this certainly has. Or I see why this has its cult status. Yeah. Uh, it. This is not a very good movie. Okay. In a way that, like, I'm actually a little bit surprised by. Uh, and and maybe it's just because, like, yeah, what like watching Street Fighter, and I'm not gonna spend much time comparing them, but Street Fighter is a similarly kind of wacky bonkers adaptation of a fighting video game. Same concept, just slightly different aesthetics. But that movie maintains like a cranked up to ten energy all the way throughout. So like the fun spirit is always there, and you're like. Even if this wasn't intended to be fun, I think like everyone was having fun. Whereas this, I can't tell what the motivations were half the time. And it really feels like it's weird because Paul W.S. Anderson has made so many video game movies and he seems to care. And yet every single time I see, I haven't even seen that many, but like whenever I've seen him attempt it, it's always like, did you, 
did you actually play that? Like, did you did you just like see someone playing this and go, oh, I can make a script off of that, and then just take what you remembered and come up with this movie? Yeah. <laughs> like, cause yeah, like it's got the characters that you might recognize, certainly at least a couple. So we we did um, set up. We were like, okay, so Sonya Blade's partner was killed by Kano. Yeah. So that's why she's here. Yeah. And then Lou's brother was killed. So that's why he's here. Yeah. And then Johnny wants to be a bigger action star. So that's why he's he here. He wants to be taken seriously. Taken seriously. Yeah. Okay. So we at least like, the, and then they were all super different from each other. So that worked. Still a little confused on the princess. Like <laughs> why, why she hasn't been killed. Like she seems to super not be with the, the, she seems to be with our people. Right. Like. Yeah, but she doesn't seem to have as uh, like as much power, power to yeah. move around and and use her, you know, ancient. So that was interesting. For much. And then, um, why is what's a white haired dude's name again? Raven. Raiden. Raiden. Yeah. <laughs> Raven. Raiden. Uh, why? Might as well be. What is Raiden's motivation? He's, uh, you know, he's the protector of Earth realm, so he just wants to help us win, so that he can keep protecting Earth. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there. I think that this had the ability to have a stronger story. <laughs> Flawless victory. That's cool. Flawless victory. <laughs> At least it was fun. At least it was fun. I think it could have had a stronger it was, story. But it was. It was fun. definitely fun. It was fun. I think there are moments where it gets a little bit stiff, and there are moments where, and and too, like there is a lot of action, and I and I don't think the action is. I mean, you know, obviously there are better examples of quality action in cinema, um, but for what this kind of movie is, you expect a certain amount of action, that's what you want, that's what you're here for. They delivered that, and I think a lot of the fights are pretty cool, pretty neat. I do feel like this is another movie where I'm like, I wish they put maybe just a little bit more care into accentuating the choreography. And, like, you could tell what's going on, you could see the fights. There's some decent action in here, I think. And it's fun to see the characters collide and see uh, sets that resemble sets from the game. Um, but at the same time, I'm like, man, do some more long takes and let us really yeah. drink in the choreography and the back and forth and stuff like that. That's another thing this movie doesn't really have. They don't really have any fatalities whatsoever, which is like a big part of the game is like those, you know, those moments where it's like, here's a really gruesome finishing move. Yeah, they just kind of say it, but they, uh, there's no actual finishing moves. That's interesting. Yeah, this is just an odd thing. So it's like, and, and a lot of the deaths and things there are moments there are but, a couple yeah but, but just yeah. not that variety is a spice of life yeah and i mean you know that's that's one thing the more recent remake did hone in on is okay at least when they're doing some kind of finish him moment they do have like a big punctuative kind of very striking move that they do but anyway for what this was in in the 90s do, are you surprised to not have had any like a-listers. We're looking right now on this wiki, and it says Cameron Diaz was initially cast as Sonya Blade. Oh, wow. Which kind of feels more <laughs> ab around the lines that you would think that there would be in the 90s at this time for a Mortal Kombat movie. I mean, yeah, and again, it's funny, because I think, you know, it's like a you look at a movie like Street Fighter, and that has, like, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Jean-Claude Van Damme, and, like, a bunch of other recognizable people, whereas here, you pretty much... I mean, you have uh, Christopher Lambert and you have, uh, you know, Kerry Hiroyuki Tagawa as uh, Tagawa as um, Shang Tsung. Like they're to me the most recognizable Bridget Wilson. But yeah, it doesn't seem like they had the full range of both like recognizable actors, but also like recognizable martial artists and stuff like that, too. You have to click on Bridget Wilson. It's driving me insane. <laughs> she must be the star of a TV show or something else that I've seen. She apparently did her own stunts for this. Okay. Um, well, she's in the last action hero and Billy Madison and uh, some other okay, things. Okay, so I've seen her in a bunch of stuff. Yeah. I know what you did last TV. summer. Mm. But yeah, like. Okay. Frasier. It certainly has, like, I liked a lot of the sets and stuff like that, and a lot of, like, the crazy, you know, temples and skeletons and monster creatures and stuff like that. Uh, there's a lot of really... Yeah, did you like Goro? He's, he's okay. neat. He's neat for what the movie is. Uh, I think, you know, again, doing the whole, like, punch him in the nuts thing is, like, a very... That was hysterical. ...silly 90s thing to do. I was stoked with that moment, because that <laughs> made me think that the movie knows that it's funny. 
Like, it was like, yeah, it, we're going to have him punch him in the nuts. It certainly, uh, yeah, gave it a sense of, of innate cheekiness, which I appreciate. Yeah. Uh, I guess, yeah. And there, like, I thought the effect of, and the choice to make that a practical puppet and animatronic and performer hybrid effect was a cool idea, and I certainly really enjoyed watching it. And there are a lot of, I mean, i got to hand it to... Uh, you're uh, saying the whole thing was a puppet? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it, it um, seems like there's somebody in, in there, there. Yeah, me, I thought and you so. maybe have one set of arms that's that's you know complete. Right. Maybe, but there's human. a person in the puppet suit. That's what it looks, looks like. like, and then they're me, probably yeah. wearing a helmet that someone's radio controlling. Because you know, I mean, uh, I got to go to ADI. Uh, the Alec Gillis and and uh, and Woodruff and Gillis, the two guys uh, credited there, they have you know like an effects house and stuff like that and they've done like a lot of really cool animatronics and puppeteering and things like that and various other movies like the predator stuff and but yeah like that i thought was a cool effect i'm aware it's an effect uh i think it might have played better if there wasn't so much questionable cg around as well because you know it's funny because you'll watch stuff from this era that has certain elements of cg and lately i've been seeing things where i'm like looks surprisingly good for the time at least um and in this I, you know like most of the cg looks like you're watching it on like a playstation one <laughs> you know like it it, it kind of looks okay when uh the little night you know the the mouthy knife bits come out of scorpion's hands but even that's kind of wonky looking the lizard effect is certainly like you're it, you know reminding me of gex or something like that some kind of old video game would you watch this again uh, w with people, probably. I, I don't think I would have as much fun just watching it alone and putting it on. But, you know, <laughs> it's got that cozy 90s aesthetic. It's got some, again, vibes, these, like, archaic ancient temples and stuff like that. Like, I like the vibes of this. I think it's fun. But, uh, you know, as a Mortal Kombat movie, it could be giving you more stuff, I guess. Um, it was, you know, it was fun. It was decent. I didn't, I didn't quite immediately just, like, love this the way I think you might if you were there at the time, but I certainly appreciated the experience. I certainly uh, uh, had fun getting acquainted with the memes that this movie has birthed and has, you know, become in and of itself. Um, there are characters I would have, like, you know, it would have been cool to see melina who's got like the big uh crazy like um demon mouth that opens up and you know she's a kind of violent and cool character and uh and you know i don't know if they were if she was even invented at the time for mortal kombat 3 i think is the movie they were trying to hawk for this but uh either way i mean yeah you got your requisites like you got your sub-zero and your scorpion and and goro obviously uh uh and then yeah johnny cage let's see we got the whole list <laughs> Liu Kang, Sean Connery was offered the role of uh, Raiden, which also would have been like a funny like Highlander thing. That would have been cool. Um, yeah, Liu Kang, Johnny Cage, Shang Tsung, Sonya Blade, Katana, Kano, Scorpion, Sub Zero, Reptile, uh, and we had Jax, although he just dies off screen, which is a bummer. <laughs> um, I thought it was interesting how much that director did look like Steven Spielberg, the one that was doing Cage. Yeah, you scrolled while I was reading. Oh, from sorry it. about that. Yeah, you're trying mm. to make me look stupid. I as well. am. I'm like, you better remember. Sandy it off the Helberg as the director of Cage is saying, and initially they're saying that it was supposed to be Steven Spielberg, which have been so cool. Yeah. Um, but he looked so much like Spielberg on the thing. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. No, no. So I was like, oh damn, that must be a reference. Yeah. And then it was supposed to be him. That's interesting. God, this is an interesting movie. Okay, <laughs> on Rotten Tomatoes, it is a 45 percent. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah, I think that's that kind of sums it up. They say, despite an effectively otherworldly atmosphere and appropriately cheesy visuals, Mortal Kombat suffers from its poorly constructed plot, laughable dialogue, and subpar acting. And it is one of those movies where it's not going so hard and just so madcap that that it just like gives way to just a barrage of fun. Like, you know, there are fl there are some flat moments in here where you're like, oh yeah, I'm kind of watching a. A not great movie that is very fun to behold. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I would assume audiences would have liked this more than critics, which it seems like they did. Yeah, sure. And again, like I get what's lovable about this. Um, it's just yeah, it's just not as like cranked up to eleven in terms of like memeable. Uh, it, it's not like silly at all times, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, but there are there are a couple moments. I haven't that seen are all neat. these memes that you're talking about. I gotta go look. And it's just like this movie just has that status, you know, it's like it's looked at as one of like, you know, people still hold this up as one of the better video game adaptations. And for its time, certainly, I think it is taking the subject matter with some seriousness. The subject matter with some seriousness. 
it's at least attempting to translate what the thing is, even if it's doing it in a very sort of ADD yeah, scatter yeah, shot saying, no. kind of half baked sort of a way. <laughs> like it's, it feels very kind of off the cuff. A lot of this stuff. Um, it feels like they showed up a lot of the time just to the set. And we're just like, I don't know. I guess we'll just shoot over here. <laughs> and now oh, we there's a scene. lot of trees in the forest. It feels it's like they made up we'll half the scenes yeah, yeah. on the set. They were like, we got a boat set today. I guess we're doing this. What do we have at our disposal? <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, but yeah, yeah. It's still, it's still a very, very enjoyable time. Uh, <laughs> I think I like Street Fighter a little better than this, but I, 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 I still see in, enjoyed this quite a bit. You've got a journey ahead of you, and then you can come back and tell me which one you liked better. Okay. Um, but yeah. Okay, I will. Any final thoughts before we hit the road? You know what? No. <laughs> no? Nothing else to say about good old Mortal Kombat? You're not excited for Mortal Kombat Annihilation 1997? That's the thing? Yeah. Same actors? A sequel, I imagine. I don't know. But actually, you never know, honestly, <laughs> with the way these movies work. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I would watch it. I would happily I watch would happily it. Watch. I would happily watch it. I do feel that I way. I would happily watch it. Because I didn't, I was not miserable sitting here. I was excited sitting here. Yeah. It just is like, huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it does. It's, it's a very huh kind of thing, and there's a lot of like random plot threads that you're like, wait, hold on, what? Yeah, <laughs> just I just I, I could have used yeah, just like a little more structure to what it even means to be at Mortal Kombat because once they show up, it's just kind of a hodgepodge of like I guess there's fighting kind of everywhere. They're like, how is this different <laughs> than Earth? And it's like, uh, there's like a bunch of people who <laughs> showed up to compete here we never see again. <laughs> You know, like it's so, it's such a strange movie. But hey, it, he it was a their good souls. time. He took their souls and he eventually gave them back, though. We won. Earth is safe. We didn't give them back. Aren't you happy? This is a true story. This is the oh. story of how we were saved. Hmm. Interesting. Well, guys, <laughs> why don't you save us in the comments by leaving your favorite good one. Uh, part about this movie, favorite character, something you wanted more of. Leave us your thoughts, whatever they might be. And hey, before we get out of here, let's do a Patreon. <laughs> Brian Perry. I can just imagine hearing that name on the start screen of a Mortal Kombat type game. Brian. And then I was gonna make you do it. Brian Perry. Brian Perry. Brian Perry. That's good. There That's go. good. That's good. Brian Perry wins. Mm. We said on um, the other video, on the Street Fighter video, we picked a patron who was gonna have to go up in a street fight, but now Mortal Kombat against another patron. So Brian Perry. You are going to have to unlock your supernatural abilities as well as your destiny. Figure out what your finishing moves are. What style of fighter you might be. Let's Will give you him have some advice. Like, what would yours look like? You know, we okay. got to give him some things to yeah, choose yeah. from. What should Brian Perry be? Okay. Brian Perry. Um, Ooh. It's like a sideways. What was that? What, do you, what, what um, were you imagining? She's got, well, I imagine. Is just fists or is that no, no, like a weapon of some kind? No, those are my... Chop chop. What chop, are chop, what chop, do chop. you what is a chop chop? <laughs> That's the chop. Try to give Brian a weapon, and I don't know what no, to no, tell I'm, him. No, no, I'm trying to give him a finishing move. Oh, okay, so you're gonna do the chop chop. Yeah, yeah, because then they and then, and then their body slinkies. There you go, and then their body like slinkies, yeah, slinkies so apart and uh, and yeah. bleeds, you know, in all different directions. Yeah, and yeah. you can hunch somebody in the dick as a move, then you can do the chop chop. That'll be it. That'll be the one-two punch. You yeah. do the chop, chop, and then finish with with a nut punch. <laughs> finish him. And that's how you will take down Pandemic Jones when we finally make you fight to the death in Mortal Kombat. Mm. But for right now, stay pledged. That's the easiest way to keep Earth Realm safe. And uh, hey, we'll catch you on the next one. Love you, buddy. Peace out.